Hi, I am Kathy Mehta, an ANSYS leader in the Salesforce Trailblazer community. Here's one of our top community answers that we have turned into a video for you. Here's the question. Why aren't cases displaying an omni-channel? This type of question gets asked often and the solution could not be more simple. Let me show you. Here, I have set up Omnichannel and I'm logged in via my credentials. When we go to setup and check queues that is associated with the routing configuration, we can clearly see the queue member as me, that is Kathy Mehta. For here, the queue name is answer squad. And when we see the queue member, that's me, Kathy Mehta. Now, let's go back to the application and make the Omni channel as available. Once we make it available, let's create a dummy case and check how the cases flow in the Omni channel utility bar. I am providing all the necessary fields that are required just to understand how the cases flow. Once done, I will click on save. After we click on save, I see that the case owner is being taken as a user because I'm the one who's creating the case and I'm the one who's assigning it. So what I'll do is I'll just change the case owner and provide the squad that we have created, which is answer squad. And once I should click on change owner, I should see the case flowing in the omnichannel utility bar. Oops, we don't see the case here. Why not? We often miss out on very small details that play a huge part in implementation. In this case, the detail is that omnichannel agents need to have service cloud user settings. When you try to use omnichannel or live web chats in service cloud and miss out giving service cloud user settings to the particular user or the agent, you won't see the cases flowing. So all you need to do is go to the user and check service cloud user and click save. For me, it was just me logged in as Kathy Mehta. So I will go to Kathy Mehta and click on edit. Once I click on edit, I will simply mark the service cloud user checkbox as checked. Once checked, I will click on save. Let's go back to the application and create another case to check. I will simply refresh it to make sure that everything is updated. I will again give all the necessary fields and then click on save. Once we click on save, the case should flow. But as I said, it is taking the user and not the queue. So I will again go to change owner and change the queue case owner to the queue. Once changed, I should see the case here. Voila, the case displays. I hope the small tip helps you get the most out of Omnichannel. If you have any more questions, tap into the wisdom of our entire Trailblazer community, trailhead.salesforce.com forward slash community. You can also find me at the Trailblazer community or on LinkedIn or Twitter. I'm always there and happy to help you all. So have a great day. Bye.